I have the honor to introduce to you our Director of Forex Education here at Avoria Prime. Uh, this is an individual who has been trading in the financial markets for a total of three months. No, I'm just kidding. He's literally been trading, guys, for 14 years in the financial market. He's got a plethora of uh, wisdom and uh, expertise in this space. He actually has a degree in mathematics. Uh, he is a developer, actually the developer of our amazing Aero product and soon to be uh, some more products coming to you guys, which he'll be talking about uh, at a later date. But guys, we're so excited. We're so honored to have Mr. Nate Williams here at Avoya Prime. The level of excellence that he brings, the value that he brings to our customers, um, to all of you guys to really make sure that you guys have your mind right to make sure that you can understand the basics of you know what it takes to really be successful in the forex market consistently over a long period of time. Uh, he's somebody um, that I respect, that I look up to, and um, I'm just excited for this next section. He's going to be talking about trading psychology, and you may be thinking to yourself, "Oh man, you know I, I've heard about it, and it maybe doesn't sound very sexy." But here's the thing, guys: this is such an important piece, probably the biggest important piece uh, to your uh, either having success or failure here with Voya Prime here in the financial markets is not what you do, it's what you think in between your two ears. It's, it's what goes on in your head, the thoughts you think, the fear, the greed, being able to manage that emotion um, and make calculated decisions with logic and have a plan. So I hope you guys are ready. Uh, you're gonna definitely wanna take notes for this section. And uh, I wanna introduce to you guys, Mr. Nate Williams. Avoya Prime, I'm back. Good to see you again. Uh, trading psychology is what we're gonna talk about today. And uh, we're gonna talk about taking you from stop loss to take profit. Not physically, but mentally, because that is exactly what trading is. It's 90% psychological, and 10% process. So jump into it. So we're gonna first start off with talking about the mentality of the stop loss, all right? Again, not on the charts, but in your mind. Are you over trading? Do you over leverage? Do you revenge trade? Do you not follow the rules? Or do you not even know what I'm speaking about? You know, we'll, we'll talk about a little bit of it. So over trading, you have a goal, it's $500. You make that goal, you made it very quickly, and you decided that I'm going to keep trading. I keep seeing everybody winning in the chat group. I'm going to keep trading. Over leveraging. Do I call a trade out on the call and I tell you, hey, we're getting ready to take this indice trade, lower your lot size because it's a more volatile pair and you do the exact opposite and you raise your lot size. And revenge trading. We all lose. So do you come back and double your trade? Do you come back and increase your lot size to try and make up for the loss you just had? And then again, do you not follow your rules? You know, we're all victim at some point in time to the mentality of stop loss. So this is you, and I know it is, because I've been there, you've been there, and if you're past that, then great. If you're not, then you need to make a change immediately. It is required so that you can move from the mentality of stop loss to take profit. Another sign of a the mentality of stop loss is, you know, do you actually have a winning strategy? yet you still find that yourself is struggling to be consistent. Struggling to be able to take that withdrawal out. You find yourself putting more money in, even though you know you have a winning strategy. All right? Then you need to learn this key fact. It is your subconscious mind that is sabotaging you and your ability to be successful with your trading plan. Now, subconscious, let's break that down. Subconscious is something that you don't necessarily think about. So, for example, if you are a basketball player, uh, I'll, I'll speak about the greatest basketball player of all time, Michael Jordan. The GOAT of basketball subconsciously knows that when he's getting ready to go for his patented fall away move, depending on whatever side of the court he's on, he knows subconsciously that he needs to fake to the opposite side. So if he's on the left side of the court, he's going to give you a shimmy to his left and he's going to fade back to his right and vice versa on the other side of the court. He's done this multiple times. So subconsciously, he doesn't have to think about it. 
And that's what the subconscious is. It's where you do not have to think about it. It naturally happens, whether it's good or bad. So sometimes you have good subconscious behaviors. Sometimes you have negative subconscious behaviors. The goal is to make sure and reprogram your subconscious so that you start to have some of those more natural, positive behaviors. All right? And that's what's going to take us to our mentality of break even. It's reprogramming the negative programming of your subconscious to be more positive. All right? You have to reprogram all right, to get to the point of re you know, break even. All right? So let's, let's talk a little bit about reprogramming your subconscious. Uh, so we'll give a couple of examples. We'll talk more thoroughly through them. You know, first one is I will not walk away with a losing day. No one wants to be a loser. I don't like losing. You don't like losing. I'm a very competitive guy myself. Doesn't matter what I'm doing. You know, we could be doing jumping jacks in the parking lot. I'm going to be as competitive as possible. That's because I do not like to lose. But you have to accept losses, not as the defeat, but as a lesson. All right. We do not win and lose when we trade the markets. Doesn't matter if it's Forex, stocks, whatever it is. All right. You either win or you learn because every loss is a lesson that you must learn from so that in the future you do not make that same mistake. All right. Also, another example is I need to prove to myself or everyone that I am a great trader. All right. I need to um, ensure that I make this five hundred dollars this week to pay my car note. I need to ensure that uh, all the money I just put in for rent, I get it back so that next month I can pay rent. I don't get evicted. These examples are pressure. You're putting pressure on yourself and this pressure causes you to make poor decisions. Why? Because in the back of your subconscious, you're telling yourself, I have to win this trade, which means you may hold on to that trade a little longer, move your stop loss, put on a bigger position than you should have to make more money to make sure you get to your goal faster. All right, this is pressure you're putting on yourself. It needs to be reprogrammed. All right. When you lose, I'm mad. There's been times I've lost myself and, and been frustrated. All right. When I'm scared, you know, when I'm in drawdown, I'm scared. There have been times I've been in drawdown myself and I've been scared. All this is emotions. Emotions must, must be removed from trading. Why? Because emotions cause you to make poor decisions. All right. Poor decisions. Uh, I was asked uh, last week on, on, on a live trade session, Nate, how are you so cool on these trades, uh, on these calls when we're in trades? Well, I trade with money that I'm willing to give away. All right. Uh, I, I trade uh, knowing that uh, I could lose. We have lost. But I trade knowing that if I stay consistent with my plan and I follow the rules, I'm going to do what? I'm going to continuously in the long run be a profitable trader. All right. I know that these things are going to happen from a negative standpoint. I know positive is going to happen. So I control my emotions by not thinking about it. I follow the rules, continue to be, uh, as I say, in some sorts, a robot. You just go through the motions. Don't think nothing about it. Don't over leverage. All right. So, again, you can learn to start to reprogram your subconscious. And this will get you to that level, that mentality of break even. And then once you get to that mentality of break even, you're now at the point where you can now break through to take profit. All right. So when you break through to the mentality of take profit, you now start to delete those negative aspects. There's one thing to reprogram. All right. But then there's some negative aspects of your subconscious that you need to just delete altogether. All right. So here are some ways to delete areas of your, your negative subconscious so that you can actually go to the mentality of take profit. First one is start off trading a demo account. People don't, they don't want to hear that. Everyone wants to go, oh, demo's not real, demo's fake, I can't make any real money, demo, yada, 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 yada. I'll tell you this. A lot of you guys, we've, we've talked a lot about FTMO and Audacity. Uh, these are prop firms uh, you know, that allow you to trade funded accounts that you then can you know, take money from. Uh, I'm going to give you a uh, I'm going to give you a tidbit of information. All those accounts you're trading are demo. You are not trading even if you're fully funded, you're not trading a fully funded account. You're not trading real money. You are trading a demo account and your profit split is based off of all the fees that are brought into the company for those who are trying to take the challenge. That's it. 
All right? That is it. They pay you 70% of whatever you make, but that money is from others, and you're trading a demo account. All right? So keep that in mind. Now, why is that? Trading a demo account allows you to learn from your mistakes. allows you to learn from your mistakes with no consequences. You can't lose what you don't have. A demo account is fake, so if you never had it, you're not going to lose it. But it allows you to learn from your mistakes. So then, therefore, the, the emotions then don't get to you. It allows you to start to program yourself, all right? Program yourself so that you don't have to worry about losing that money. You don't have to worry about making mistakes. You then can start to create good habits on your demo account so that they transfer to your live account, all right? Next, trading a demo account allows you to share your results of your true trading plan, all right? So now when you get in a rhythm and a rhyme, you want to share your results with the group, Hey, everyone's giving you a pat on the back. Hey, great job. You know, kudos to you, whatever the case may be. Fire emojis. You guys know what we do in the chat. But now you're getting, getting that confidence built up. Even if it's on a demo account, it doesn't matter. You're building the confidence. You're doing the things necessary to actually reprogram your mind and delete those negative subconscious uh, behaviors and build up the positive ones. You know, last but not least, a demo account allows you to trade, again, like we talked about earlier, with no fear of losing. No fear of it. All right? That has a goal. When you are not afraid to lose a trade, not afraid to lose your entire account, you then have gotten to the point where you can start to literally have no emotions while you trade. It's tough. It takes time to get there. It takes time to get there. I can tell you, I've gotten there. It's a different feeling. It feels like I have no emotions, like I'm walled off. Uh, but when you get there, it allows you to trade at a different level um, where you don't have to really worry about it. All right. Next, we'll talk about the, the next level of you know, deleting negative aspects of your subconscious to continue to propel you to the mentality of take profit. A trading journal. However you want to journal it, you need to document your trades so that you can review them later. All right. Whether it's digital, whether you write it in an actual journal, whether you take screenshots and save them, that's something that I do. I, mark, I take screenshots. I mark those screenshots up on what I should have done. I always wait to the next day. All right? I always wait to the next day. And before I get on another live trade session, I go back through all the trades from the previous day, win or lose, so that I can understand what happened. I can understand, okay, this was the setup here. I see the candlestick rejection here. I see support resistance. We follow the rules to the T. There was no news. You know, I write down all the conditions of what was going on at the time. All right. Uh, I use the trade journal, at least the way that I do it, to learn and analyze the conditions for each situation, whether I won or I lost. Sometimes you lose a trade. That's just going to happen. Sometimes you do everything to the T of your trading plan and you still lose. But you have to be OK with taking a loss because it wasn't a loss. It was a lesson. All right. And the more lessons you learn, you start to understand that, oh, this is why I lost. In the beginning, you may not understand it, but the more you see it and document it and journal it, you start to understand why you took that loss. Something new that you learned from a, a, a call with another educator will spark in the back of your mind, let you know that, ah, oh, that's why I lost that trade. And then you then learn, you go back to your journal, you write it down, and then you continue to progress as a trader. It's all about progression, all right? And the next is having a live trading accountability. Doesn't matter how you do it, but having one, you know, so trade with an accountability partner. For me, and I need to do more of it, my trading accountability partner is every one of you. I, I say it all the time on the live trade sessions. I am a better trader, <laughs> significantly better trader when I'm on the call with you guys than when I'm trading by myself. I wish I could have two separate accounts. I probably need to do that. And I'll show you guys in my FX book of what it looks like for me to trade by myself and then what it looks like when I trade with you. You'll see night and day differences. But that's just part of the subconscious. Even I still struggle with it. After 14 years of trading every financial market available, I still am working to be a better trader and reprogram and delete the negatives of my subconscious. All right? Trade only what you can afford to give away to charity. Again, we don't want to talk about losses. Losses are lessons. So it's not about trade what you can only afford to lose. No, trade what you can afford to give away to charity. All right? We don't want to continue to reprogram that mentality of, of loss, that negative programming, all right? So whatever you can afford to give to charity, that is what you trade with, all right? If you don't need it, trade with it. 
All right? Utilize a risk management and a money management plan. Steve Ederall, the one I tell you guys about all the time, who is the only certified financial advisor in the entire company. He spoke earlier about risk management. All right? He's the only one qualified in the company to speak about this. All right? Take what he said with a grain of, you know, not a grain of salt, but take heed to it. All right? Have a risk management plan. Have a money management plan. They are one, they're not the same. They're two different plans. And then from there, continue to have that, build that, and use that, all right? It is a trading accountability. Because as you journal that, did you follow your plan? No. Hold yourself accountable. Find someone else to hold you accountable. If not, the community will hold you accountable. So if you're putting something in the chat and everyone knows your rules, they're going to hold you accountable. Do it. Don't worry about how it makes you feel. Do it. Because in the long run, when you delete that subconscious of your mindset, you'll be that much better of a trader. All right? So we talked about trading psychology today. As we talked about on the calls, you can never go broke taking profit. Got to be more careful. And guys, if you're going to trade Bitcoin today, because I know a lot of you guys are already asking for a, a, a cryptocurrency uh, uh, session tonight, make sure to trade responsibly. And I will see you guys in the funny papers. Wow, come on, Nate. Amazing, amazing job. I don't know about you guys, but that was uh, some pure gold right there. Uh, I know Nate loves those fire emojis, so everybody that's watching, tuning in live right now, let's drop some fire emojis in the chat, especially if you guys are Aero users, if you guys are on New York session, if you're on London session, um, I have an amazing time tuning into those London session calls. And uh, honestly, listening to Nate, you know, here and this presentation that he just gave uh, is like looking into a mirror. I mean, everything he's talking about, like I can see where I'm dealing with that exact same thing. Um, and it's funny, you know what I mean? It's very simple stuff, but it's so hard to, uh, uh, to really be able to master, you know, your emotions, be able to master your mind. Um, but it is worth it and it is so, so important. So. I hope you guys took away uh, some, some, some nuggets there. You guys took some notes. And I really want to encourage you guys, especially with that session, uh, you know, take the time to, as we, you know, we're going to do one more session, we're going to do a raffle, and then we're going to go on our lunch break. Take the time to sit with yourself and ask yourself, man, what are the one, two, three things that I really need to apply to see that breakthrough, see that transformation in my trading? It's a great question to ask. And if you can answer that and you can follow through with providing it, doing it, you know, and executing that, um, you know, I promise you your life's going to be different. Mm -hmm.